Moving away from gravity concentration, I would like to talk to you guys a little bit about our flotation testing capabilities. Right now, we're working on a copper lead zinc selective flotation project. The sample we're actually working on right now is from our DMS pilot trial, where we were able to generate a pre-concentrate containing over 95% of the target minerals while rejecting 60% of the mass. While the flotation process is complex, the fundamental principle is very simple. Mineral samples are naturally hydrophilic for the most part, meaning it likes to stay in water. The flotation process utilizes specialty chemical reagents to selectively alter minerals of interest to become hydrophobic. In other words, mineral surfaces can be altered from being attracted to water to being repelled by water. Once a mineral particle has become hydrophobic, the introduction of air and frother will allow the minerals to attach to the air bubbles and float to the surface. You can see in this test that the lead has been altered into a hydrophobic state and with the addition of air has floated to the top of the slurry where it can now be recovered. Once the lead has been recovered, the zinc is then sequentially concentrated into a separate product. At the end of the test, you can see the distinct color differences between the dark gray lead concentrate and the yellow brown zinc concentrates.